Hey guys, it's the Metal Blade 5. Welcome back to more Metroid Zero Mission. Last time, we defeated three bosses as well as entering the area known as Ridley. And I ended off the last episode where I did because we got one of these doors, which obviously you know what that means. I hate this one though. It shoots shots which are, which it shoots shots which act as like a wall, and it's annoying. And this one does not die in one hit like the one in Kraid did. There. We destroy that. And there's nothing here. So we move on. And again, you know what this means. Unknown item. And that is actually the last unknown item in the game. And with this unknown item, we can of course destroy these blocks with this insignia on it. And this one is very important because this is a hidden passageway that takes you to an energy tank, which is very helpful, considering that obviously I'm pretty sure you know what's, uh, what's coming up. So we go back the way we came, and... We have Ridley! And if I can get up here, please. Jesus Christ, dude! This is a great start, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, thanks for letting me hit you. With all of my, uh, super missiles. So, Ridley's main attack is that he shoots fireballs around, and hits you with his tail, which can also reflect shots, somehow. But, um, Ridley's actually pretty easy, mainly because, I hate to say this, but... He's a big target! And unlike Kraid, obviously you can hit him anywhere, and there, Ridley is already dead! The main villain of the series is already dead! And Ridley was the other boss that we needed to defeat in order to activate the gate, so now we can go through it, but there is other stuff that we can get on the way. Now, on the subject of Ridley, I want to- oh, for the love of god. I need to let the fly- that's too high for me. Great. Okay, that can work. There, we can get up here. This is how you're actually supposed to leave the area, just letting you know. Okay, so on the subject of Ridley showing up, that's one thing I want to talk about. So, of course, to anybody who knows anything about, uh, Metroid Other M, you will probably know about the whole thing about when Ridley shows up, Samus has, like, a post-traumatic stress moment. And, obviously, a lot of people don't like that scene, and I- I'm among them. And, I mean, I know some people argue that, oh, Samus thought Ridley was dead at that point, so she was shocked. Yeah, I would imagine her being shocked at that point. But not to the point where she would completely freeze in fear, I'm just saying. It just... The reason why that scene actually exists in Another M is because uh, Yoshio Sakamoto, the uh, co-creator of Metroid, actually wanted to have like a sort of uh, uh, post-traumatic stress scene with Samus and Ridley. But I have an argument against that, and I'm gonna say that um, a bit later. And the reason why I'm saving that for later is because we've got a ridiculously annoying item to get with the speed booster, which I need to concentrate for. So, I go into the save room. Activate the shine spark here. And go down. Hopefully I don't get hit by enemies here, because if you get hit by enemies, it instantly knocks you out of the shine spark. There! And this upgrade that you get is honestly my least favorite upgrade to get in the whole game. This fucking missile tank can burn in hell. So shine spark up here, grab onto the ledge, and let the pain begin! Oh my god, I finally got it! Holy shit! Let me tell you about why this thing sucks so much. The entire floor up there crumbles away. And so that means if you screw up, you have to leave the room and do the whole thing over again. And what's more, is that that little thing that you have to grab on at the end? Ah, oh, thank god I hate this one too! What you have to do is, you have to use the speed boost to destroy these blocks, but on the- with the blocks that you have to shoot on the way in, there's a fucking missile block. So you have to immediately switch to a missile, which can easily screw you up. And for some reason, when you're going for the block, sometimes Samus just stops running for no fucking reason. But anyway, with that other one, when you grab onto that platform at the end, y y it just goes away after a little bit. So you can get so easily screwed over at the very frickin' end. Anyway, freeze that enemy to jump up here and get this missile tank. Oh my frickin' god. 
But anyway, um, back to finally getting back to Ridley, just because I need to concentrate on those two specific uh, missile tanks. So, the reason why that um, post-traumatic stress breakdown scene is in uh, Other M is because uh, Yoshio Sakamoto wanted to have a breakdown scene with uh, Samus and Ridley. But, I think that argument is completely null and void for two reasons. For one, this game has cutscenes, and obviously this is supposed to be the first Metro game. So this is the first time Samus would properly encounter Ridley, like, after her parents' death. So, that would actually make more sense to have the breakdown scene here, even like just a brief moment of it. But also because I found out that in the Metroid manga, there is a breakdown scene with Samus when she first meets Ridley. So the whole point of having it in Other M is completely null and void. So anyway, this Chozo statue is completely destroyed. So we need to go down here. And then we use this spot to use the speed boot. Oh, this spot to use the speed booster. And eventually, this will take us to this ball cannon. And this will take us to this section, which we could never reach before. And now we have a new room here and a uh, missile tank that we cannot get. But here. We are going to get a very iconic Metroid item. Screw attack! Damage enemies while somersaulting. So what the screw attack does is it turns Samus's spinning jump that she performs when running into an attack, which can kill enemies and destroy blocks. Case in point here. And that's what you need to do in order to destroy those blocks in order to reach this missile tank. And now I just need to check the map. Okay, there's a there's a uh, save room right here. Because So, I'm gonna end it off here. So, um, next time on Metroid Zero Mission, we are going to be returning to Brinstar because that is our next objective. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, let us know you enjoy it. Let me know you're enjoying this. I don't know who these other people are. And I'll see you guys next time.